right, here's the deal. What's the deal? So we we have a ceremony for finishing a bottle. Okay. I think just as important, if if not more important, is the ceremony for bringing home a new addition to the family. Oh, it's like welcoming like a new baby. Yes. Like it's a boy cigar. Yes. <laughs> so the first bit of the ceremony, I know what oh. we need to do. Okay. And you're already about to do this trunk. See, you're putting it in the trunk. Yeah. You don't put whiskeys in the trunk. Oh, you don't? That's disrespectful. <laughs> would Would you put a baby in the trunk, Daniel? Uh, no. Okay. Our ceremonial song is... We should call upon the whiskey spirits mm. and randomize whatever's on your playlist. How many songs do you have in your playlist? Uh, about 20,000. This could be a little too revealing. Are you ready? I was born ready. Okay, what is it? After calling upon the whiskey spirit eagle and then your crappy bear. <laughs> All right, guys, today is a little different. We are going to be exploring something that is near and dear to my heart. I'm very excited about it. We are going to be exploring the best whiskey for a Manhattan. It's an old fashioned, you cockboard. Just kidding. <laughs> Damn it. Traditionally, an old fashioned is made with rye, right? Yes. Originally, I should say. But, but now, now you can get an old fashioned made with just about any whiskey, including scotch. But we're going to do. Bullet Rye, just sort of a classic MGP. Uh, Michter's Rye, which I think is also MGP. <laughs> uh, Willet, small batch rye. Wild Turkey Bourbon, 101. And Michter's American Whiskey. Okay, now we're going with the Trevor version okay. from the Modern Rogue Edition sure. episode where he told them, taught them how to make his preferred old fashioned. All right, so what are you doing here? So uh, do we want to make one in its entirety or make all five? All five at the same time. Touched it. I know. Don't, it's ribbed for your place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chad. Hey, Chad. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Fantastic. <laughs> okay, dash. we're starting with a sugar cube. Okay. Then we're gonna add probably three to four dashes of bitters. Mm -hmm. Basically enough bitters that when we muddle the sugar cube, it sort of assimilates instead of just sits on top of it. Is this it. any kind of special sugar? I just got pure cane. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four. Right. And actually let's make that five, six, because this is a smaller opening. Four, five, six. That should be plenty. And now here's what we're gonna do is we're gonna muddle that. Okay. On all of them. So that and, just means um, crunch it up. Now I don't crunch it too much because like I said, I like I like the chunky texture that shows up. Dude, that is super chunky, man. It's gonna dissolve more as we start adding other things into it. Okay. And we're gonna muddle each step of the way. Now we're gonna add in, and I don't I don't have my uh, actual cutter bar tool because I left it at home. Yeah. So we're just gonna use a fruit cutter. We're gonna take slices of the orange here, just the skin. Okay, hub. Right, we're trying not to get in too into the meat on that one. And this is getting a little bit wider. This is why you want to have a good bar tool. So we're actually going to take that. Oh, and see that? Dude, the spray just. Did you everything. see that? Yeah, yeah. You want to get that in there, and then you're going to drop that in. So we'll do the same thing. And then we're going to, after we do all this, we're going to muddle it just to really make sure that it gets mixed in with everything else. Mm -hmm. So we got bitters, orange peel, right? muddled sugar. Now we're just going to kind of take this, and we don't want to really crush. The orange, right. we just sort of want to press it. Now, a good old fashioned mm -hmm. will have a dash of soda water. I want to smell this. Ooh, that does smell amazing. Ooh, super orangey, man. Yeah, right? Ooh, wow. So we're going to add Topo Chico. Topo Are you ready? Because Topo Chico is the official water of Texas. Now, what we want is just enough to sort of get everything mixed in. Yeah, because I remember when we added carbonation to Jack Daniels, I mean, Jack Daniels, uh, Johnny Walker Blue. Right. And it really kind of made everything come alive. Yeah. It sort of brings out all the flavors in there. Sort of get it all one flavor. Okay. And when we're finished with this glass, we're going to stir it. We're not going to get too aggressive with it. Okay. Um, so this is chilled Topo Chico. Mm-hmm. Cold. Cold Topo Chico. You want to try a sip? Ooh. Dude, I would just drink that. I know, right? If you're the designated driver, yeah, then just order an old fashioned with no whiskey. minus the whiskey. Right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to so this do is the bullet rye. Yep. And okay. then, then we're gonna do. Right. You want to mix those together while I get some ice? Don't get too aggressive because we don't want to lose the carbonation. Okay. Yeah, we're adding ice. Stir it enough to get everything in there. 
Don't get too aggressive though, because we don't want to overly froth everything. And we are not using fancy ice cubes, but this is gonna be more like what you would have your house anyway. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Are you ready? I'm very, this looks, all right, move your way down, keep your damn mouth shut, and then we'll choose our favorite. Okay. Oh, come on. Man, these are good. I think it needs a little more whiskey in all of these. Ooh. Uh, I know my favorite so far. Okay, I have my one, two, three. So I, go ahead. Will It Rise, my number one. Michter's American was my number That's one. That's my number two. Michter's American, surprisingly amazing. Well, because it's the, vanilla. The actual Wild Turkey 101 mm -hmm. bourbon. Fantastic. No, I did not like that. Oh, okay. I did not like that. That was my number three. That was your number three? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I dug that. Uh, and then bullet. <laughs> the other thing we could do is I could pour us a glass of each of the actual whiskeys and you could try the whiskey and then the old fashioned to see which parts of the whiskey are affecting the flavor. This disappears. You go so away. So that's out. You go away. Go away, Nickter's Rye. I'm telling you, will it, man? I get why you like American, but, but as far as a traditional old fashioned, Oh, Wild Turkey's gone. Wild Turkey 101. All right, so this is my number one, and that's your number one. Well, let me say and this. And we had the reverse number two. Let me say this. That's pretty interesting. Let me say this. For a classic old fashioned, mm -hmm. the Will It Rye. Yeah. I think you're right. That was fantastic. For something special and amazing where you get this really lovely cream note on the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're using used barrels. Yes. Yeah. A vanilla. Butter. It's like an orange sickle. You remember those growing up? Yes. Yeah, it's the dream. orange. I think it was called the dream sickle. Dream sickle. Yeah. That is totally a dream sickle. <laughs> so if I'm wanting classic and traditional, it's the Willet Rye. Do you what? want to try the original whiskey in our glasses with our cocktails? Oh yeah. Hey, check it out. We got new glasses. We got new glasses. Oh. What does that say? It says, Magnificent, Magnificent Bastard. Bastard. <laughs> and in case anyone's unsure of who they're talking about, yes. there's an arrow. It's a very fancy arrow. Yeah, I just wanna make sure, so like when you're drinking, everyone's like, oh, it means that guy. <laughs> These are brand new, and they uh, a link is in the description below if you wanna be a Magnificent Bastard. All right, so there's your American. Now, I'm gonna try a sip of the Willet, right. and then try the cocktail again, so I can be reminded of what Willet actually tastes First, like. Oh, that's just all kinds of good. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. No wonder the cocktail tastes so good. Damn, dude. So, for just emerging. sheer enjoyment, for sheer enjoyment of an amazing uh, old-fashioned. Oh, that's such good whiskey. And I'm not looking for, like, classic tradition. No, you just, I'm you're going to make the it with Michters. I'm going for the Michters. That's assuming you can find a glass of Ameri a bottle of American Michters. whiskey Michters. Yeah, okay. These were damn good. These were exceptional. I do take issue with your muddling technique, though. Oh. So. Oh, really? There is a secret society of barkeeps and a legend that has been passed down through the generations. A legend for the perfect muddle. The ingredients so precious, so pure, so delectable. In order to achieve said perfect muddle, you must first harvest the tears of a magician. Yo, whiskey bisquicks, bisquicks. You remember bisquick, the uh, pancake? Like they also, you could also do biscuits out of them. And you guys are the whiskey biscuits. Hey, uh, what's what's up? Uh, I got I got your call. You said it was important. Have a seat, Mr. Bushwood. Brushwood. Uh, but there, you should grab a. Have a seat. Sure, Mr. Bushwood. It has come to our attention that you have requested access to the whiskey tribe. Oh, the fa the Facebook thing. Yeah, no, no, no. I figured I figured we're all buddies and we should uh... the Facebook thing. It's yeah, the whiskey tribe. Uh, oh yes. Say it with your mouth. Yeah, no. I figured I would join the whiskey tribe. I have your application here, Mr. Bushwood, and can you read the bottom of that application? Hasn't something something the gray text, please. Uh, the gray text. Hasn't answered questions yet, waiting for response. Okay, that's why. Do you think you are better than us? Uh, if there's a one. There was hesitation in the answer, we'll move on. <laughs> it's noted. Say the word people. People? Mm, that's mm. unfortunate. Would you consider yourself a celebrity? I, I know. Okay, we agree on something, let's move on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna need you to hold this glass. Right here. To, to my cheek? Yeah. 
Unfortunately, Mr. Brushwood, given the unprompt timeline of your reply, it was more than 24 hours and it has been henceforth denied. Denied? Are you serious? Good day. You know what? You know what? Maybe I misjudged you guys. A couple of asses. I think that worked out well. I think it went great. You know what? Another thing. I even got you guys a gift. I was going to give this to you as a thank you for letting me into the whiskey drive. It's my own personal brand, and you'll never get it. I think we made a huge mistake. You made a huge mistake. <laughs> Brian, wait. I love you. I'll have your babies. Get it. Say it with your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>